Right, part of what they found as they were putting in the subway was this house. And this house was a rich guy's house, and it was on the main drag, which you can see over there against the far wall on the other side of those columns, going east to west through the town. And this house had many, 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 many rooms, and it was almost 11,000 square feet. Now that's almost, it was, it was a thousand square meters. That's a quarter acre house. This is a big place. This guy was worth some dough. If you see those ladies over there, they're walking on the actual Roman street that they've uncovered and that they're, that they've preserved. And it goes on down that way. You gotta realize this was all done as part of the subway. If you go over here to the left, and go straight, you end up at the subway. It's astounding that they were able to do this. It's also astounding, they let me stand in the middle of this. And I don't know if you saw the picture of my feet, but that was part of the mosaic of the floor that they let me stand on. I stood on the floor of some rich Roman guy's house. Cool. Oh, by the way, this is the Roman's drainage system that they had, and so when it rained, it drained off all the excess water. Pretty cool. Also part of the uh, excavations uncovered this church. And it's uh, from, I think, the 16th century. These are original frescoes that were on the wall of the church. Or what's left of them. And these little niches in the wall here were for putting in their their um, church vestments and for the utensils that they used during the service. What kills me is all this is right here in the middle of town. And they made accommodation so that it would still be here. Another thing that really surprises me is they only discovered this in 2010. You know, there's the church over there, and there's the house way down there. And they've done all of this in less than 10 years. Amazing.